Hello everyone. Today's verse of day is Matthew 5, 44 to 45. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven, for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. Love your enemies and pray for those that persecute you. This is our bare minimum. This is the baseline of everything that we do as believers. At the baseline, at the very base, the foundation we have love. It's the bare minimum is love. But there's more to our relationships than just love. There's brotherhood. There's trust. There's communication. Sometimes in life we are, we are put here and people are put in our lives that we have no control over. Our family, our co-workers, we have no control over. <laughs> and us as believers should always love them. But sometimes I believe we take each other for granted, especially family. And be like, oh, that's my such and such. That's that's whoever. They'll always be around. No, no, don't no. Build trust with them. You already got bare minimum. Even if you for your enemies you got bare minimum. So for your family, you better have a bare minimum of love. But have more than just love. Have trust. Have relationship. Have communication. As Matthew 18, 15 through 17 says, if you're Brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen, then tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. How do we treat Gentiles and tax collectors again? We love them. But how do we love them? We love them like an acquaintance, like a stranger. See, we always love. But our closeness. You fuss at your brother. You communicate with your brother because you want him to be a close brother to you. You want him to be your brother. You don't want him to be a tax collector. You tell him things. You communicate back and forth. And you know what keeps us away sometimes as family and friends? It's pride. It's pride. Because we know that the, at the end, we had that baseline. Even more than enemies, we had that baseline of being family. And so that means that baseline of love. But man, swallow your pride and get your family member back, not as a tax collector, but get them back as a brother, a sister, a mother, a son, a daughter. Get your family back as a real family member because at times we're just tax collectors to each other, <laughs> but we still love as a, a believer, but we don't wanna be just tax collectors. As John thirteen thirty four says, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. This new commandment was 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 seems like like it was there the whole time when Jesus said, two of the greatest commandments, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. So why is he saying this? Because he's talking about a bigger bond. He's talking about brotherhood. He's talking about family. He's talking about family. He's talking about someone that you can trust, someone that you can communicate to, someone that you can tell inner secrets to. Another thing that was different was that we now had the Holy Spirit. And with the Holy Spirit, we can now truly love our brothers. Before that, man would sometimes have an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, but we wouldn't have an indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And that made a huge difference. So now we can truly love our brothers. 
ancestors. He wants us to love one another. So we got to let the pride and the communication, we got to foster these relationships. Bare minimum love is, is not what we want. We want relationship. We want relationship. God loves every single person on this earth, but he does not have relationship with every single person on this earth. He loves them all. He wants relationship with them all. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. May many be saved, Lord. Please let us just communicate, be free with each other. Even those that, that take us for granted, our family, our just people that are close by to think, think you, you don't matter. No, Lord. Let us actually be brothers and sisters, close, tight with each other and tight with you. May many be saved, Lord. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.